Hi, and welcome to the Cozy Corner in the Godly Playroom at Pacific Spirit United Church. Happy Thanksgiving. This morning, we are going to have a story in which we wonder about who is our neighbor. This is a wonderful storybook that was written by the rabbi, Sandy Eisenberg Sasso. And it's called, Who is My Neighbor? After the story, we'll take a moment to say a repeat after me prayer together, a special Thanksgiving prayer. Once there was a town where only blues lived. There were navy and indigo, aqua and sapphire, powder blue and midnight blue. They planted irises and forget-me-nots and feasted on blueberries and blue cheese. They sailed on blue water. Blue jays perched on branches and brilliant blue cracker butterflies shimmered. The blues thought they were the coolest colors. The yellows lived in a different town. There were gold and bronze, lemon and mustard, canary and pale yellow. They planted sunflowers and daffodils and feasted on bananas and butterscotch pudding. They traveled on yellow brick roads. Goldfinches perched on branches and busy yellow jackets buzzed. The yellows thought they were the hottest colors. The blues and yellows did not like one another very much. Be careful of the yellows. We are better than they are. They are not our neighbors. They warned their children not to go near the others. Be careful of the blues. We are better than they are. They are not our neighbors. Four years. The blues said there was no such thing as a good yellow. And the yellow said there was no such thing as a good blue. One day, Midnight Blue put on his best blue helmet and got onto his blue bike. He loved cruising under the bright blue sky and passing by the tranquil blue lakes, singing bluegrass tunes. Then, out of the blue, someone passed by so close to midnight blue that he lost his balance. Bump, thump, midnight blue tumbled to the ground. His knees started to turn black and blue. Midnight Blue needed help. Along came Navy. Navy will help me, Midnight Blue thought, but Navy was afraid. She wondered, maybe someone made Midnight Blue fall and maybe that person is still around. So Navy pretended not to notice Midnight Blue. Midnight Blue was surprised. Why hadn't Navy stopped to help? Help. After all, Navy was his neighbor. Along came Powder Blue. Powder Blue will help me, Midnight Blue thought. But Powder Blue wondered, did Midnight Blue get in a fight? Is that other person still around? He was afraid, so he pretended not to notice Midnight Blue. Midnight Blue was surprised. 
Why hadn't Powder Blue stopped either? After all, Powder Blue was his neighbor. Neither Navy nor Powder Blue is true blue. Midnight Blue looks a little hurt, a little confused. Along came Lemon. Oh no, a yellow, thought Midnight Blue. A yellow will only make things worse. Maybe this yellow will steal my books. But Midnight Blue wasn't the only one who was scared. Lemon worried about helping a blue. What if the blue wanted to trick her? What if the blue jumped up and took her bike? Maybe she should just hurry by. But Lemon didn't hurry by. She decided to help. She didn't steal his books. She picked them up. She lifted Midnight Blue from the dirt, handed him his helmet, and helped him get on the back of her bike. Then she took him to her doctor. While they waited, Lemon gave Midnight Blue a butterscotch cookie. It was broken, but still delicious. Midnight Blue said, you're a good yellow, not like the others. Most yellows are good, Lemon said. So are most blues, Midnight Blue said, and he smiled. He pulled out a small bag of blueberries and gave some to Lemon. They were a little squished, but still yummy. When Dr. Gold came out, Midnight Blue was still a bit frightened. Dr. Gold was another yellow, but Dr. Gold smiled at him. She shined a light into his eyes, checked to make sure nothing was broken, and put a bandage on each knee. Good as gold, said Dr. Gold. Midnight Blue turned to Lemon and said, Thank you for helping me. I would like to be your friend. Lemon nodded. Of course, a good friend. When Midnight Blue returned to his town, he told all the blues what had happened. It was not at all what they expected to hear. He said, Lemon did not pass by. Lemon did not look the other way. Lemon helped, and Dr. Gold did too. The blues thought, the yellows do not look like us or eat the same foods, but maybe the yellows can be our friends. When Lemon returned to her town, she told all the yellows what had happened. It was not at all what they expected to hear. She said Midnight Blue wasn't mean at all. He was thankful. He shared his blueberries, so sweet. From now on, we are going to be friends. The yellows thought, the blues do not know our songs or grow our plants, but maybe we can help the blues and the blues can help us. From that time on, the blues and the yellows began to say, maybe we don't have to look alike or even live nearby. Perhaps we will like hearing new songs and tasting new foods. We might like making new friends. 
Maybe we can all help one another. Maybe, said Midnight Blue. Lemon smiled. Maybe. Just maybe. The end. This story reminds me a lot of the stories that Jesus told about loving everybody because everybody was our neighbor. And I think Thanksgiving is an especially good time to remember that we are called by God to love and care and love and care for and serve others, no matter whether they're yellow or blue, they speak different languages, sing different songs. We are all God's beloved children and nothing makes God smile more than when we are good neighbors to each other. So please, Join me in a repeat after me prayer. I will say a line and then you can repeat after me. And this prayer was written by the poet Ralph Waldo Emerson. And I've changed the words a little because I think he wrote it a long time ago. And so I've just made a few little changes so that it's in language that makes more sense to us today. For each new morning with its light. For rest and shelter of the night. For health and food. For love and friends. For everything God's goodness sends. For flowers that bloom about our feet. For tender grass, so fresh, so sweet. For song of bird and hum of bee. For all things fair we hear or see. God of love, we thank thee. Amen.